Read this sentence to yourself. What does this mean to you? What is a cadaver? Where is a morgue? The second independent clause, images lie lifeless like cadavers in a morgue, is not necessary for the sentence. However, this part of the sentence does create more of an image and more of a description and feeling or mood to the statement. How can we add more visual representation to our writing? Let's learn about bada bing. Right now, you are probably wondering, what are bada bings? Let's break it down to three parts. The three parts are, where were you physically? What you saw? And what you thought? So, where were your feet? Where were your eyes? What did you think? Imagery in writing is used to create an image in the reader's mind. Using a bada bing will create that imagery for the reader by allowing him or her to put themselves in your story when they read this sentence. Since I can't really sing, here's a little rap to help you remember the parts of the bada bing. Come on everybody, let's shout. Bada bings will help you no doubt. Tell me where you are. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you're thinking about. Here's an example of a bada bing. When I strolled over the hills and glimpsed at the straw house by the creek, my stomach growled. This will be easy to blow down. Let's go through the three parts. Where are your feet? Where were your eyes? What did you think? Here's another example. As I dragged myself to the top of the beanstalk, I peeked over and gazed upon a huge castle. I wondered who lived there. Let's go through the three parts again. Where are your feet? Where are your eyes? And what were you thinking? Write this sentence in your journal. A stockbroker on his way home from work in Dallas came to a dead halt in the traffic and thought to himself, wow, this is worse than usual. Can you mark this sentence with the three parts? Where were your feet? Where were your eyes? And what did you think? Pause the tape now while you make the marks in your journal. What about this sentence? You're going to write this sentence in your journal and mark it just like we did before. <clears throat> Where were your feet? Where were your eyes? And what did you think? Pause the video now so you can write this in your journal. Now it's up to you. Choose one of the pictures and write your own bod bing. Pause the video while you are writing your sentence. If you were told, tell me about your summer, how would you start your paper or journal entry? Any of these come to mind? Being a teacher, I see around 100 papers every time you are asked to write. 
Would you want to read 100 papers or journals that start like this? How can we entice our readers? Is this more interesting? Or what about this one? Let's try writing again. After choosing your picture, pause the video while you are writing your next bada bing in your journal. Sometimes I write in simple sentences. It's easier to think through, but it's boring to read. Instead of having these three simple sentences, I can combine the ideas together and create one complex sentence. This is definitely more interesting to read. As you are sitting and staring at your computer or iTouch or whatever electronic you're using, stop, stand up, and think about the three parts that make a bada bing. Can you list them? Will you be ready to write some more bada bings tomorrow in class? Guess we'll see you tomorrow.